you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 22nd 34th sunday and the holy catholic church today celebrates the feast of the christ the king happy this day my dear friends let's begin this day with the blessings of god A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 46 When the son of man comes in his glory and all the angels with him then he will sit on the throne of his glory all the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats and he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left then the king will say to those at his right hand come you that are blessed by my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world for i was hungry and you gave me food i was thirsty and you gave me something to drink i was a stranger and you welcomed me i was naked and you gave me clothing I was sick and you took care of me I was in prison and you visited me then the righteous will answer him lord when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink and when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you or naked and gave you clothing and when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you and the king will answer them truly i tell you just as you did to one of the least of these who are members of my family you did it to me then he will say to those at his left you that are accursed depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels for i was hungry and you gave me no food i was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink I was a stranger and you did not welcome me naked and you did not give me clothing sick and in prison and you did not visit me then they also will answer lord when was it that we saw you a hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not take care of you then he will answer him them truly i tell you just as you did not do it to one of the least of these you did not do it to me and these will go away into eternal punishment but the righteous into eternal life this is the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ happy this day my dear friends today is the 34th and the final sunday of the liturgical year next sunday we will start a new year with the first sunday in advent today somehow sums up all that we have been hearing the jesus uh, we have watched going around the towns of galilee samaria and judea the jews jesus we have watched the teaching healing consoling liberating in our lord he is our lord and king he is the visible presence of god in our midst there are two very contrasting images of christ presented to us in today's reading the second reading of from the first letter of st paul to the corinthians presents a powerful and awesome pictures of Christ as Lord and King. As all have died because of the fall of Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. Christ is presented as the all-powerful ruler whom every other power and authority must eventually give way. The other two readings, however, give a very different picture of God and Jesus who is the invisible carnation. the first reading presents god as a shepherd we know that sheep which are brought out into hill sides to graze can wander far in search of the greenest grass this would be especially true in the hills of a palestine not only that there will be sheep belonging to other shepherds out on the same hills and they can get mixed up with each other the shepherd then spends considerable time looking after his own string ship and bringing them back dear friends the 
feast of uh, Christ, the universal king, gives us the message, Jesus is the king, the ruler of the world. Look at Jesus Christ, the king. He is in sharp contrasting to those rulers. He carried the burden of all his subjects, the burden of sin in the form of the cross. While earthly rulers load heavy burdens on the subjects, here we have a king who on the contrary carried his people's burden himself. In the kingdom of Christ, the decisive battle has been fought and won. Satan has fallen and the power of evil is broken. Yet the battle goes on. Such is the kingdom. Christ rules. We call today's celebration the solemnity of Christ the king. Yes. Unlike other kings, Christ came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. When other kings wage wars and let many of their own people die in defending them, Christ our king died so that we might live. He loved us and gave himself up for us. Did he not say, I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. As our king, Christ is our lawgiver. He gives us a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. He loved us and gave his life for us. That is why he is the king. Could he give us anything more precious? He loves his subject so much that he identified himself with the poorest of the poor. I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. He will judge us on how we served our king in the lowest and the least among us. We serve Christ by serving the needy. Whatever we do to the least of his brethren, he considers done to him. Today, we offer this unique king for our royal welcome. We acknowledge his supremacy over us. He pledges our royalty to him. We renew our commitment to establish his kingdom in every human heart, beginning with our own. May he rule our minds, our hearts, our wills, now and forever. Amen. May God bless us. Happy this day.